Strokes can occur when a part of the brain is deprived of blood and oxygen, often caused by a carotid artery blockage. Now, doctors can treat blocked arteries in their patients without invasive open surgery. Join us on July 15th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time to see an expert discussion on carotid stenting, live from New York Presbyterian Hospital in New York City. The physicians at New York Presbyterian Hospital, representing both Columbia University Medical Center and Weill Cornell Medical Center, have played a major role in the research and development of carotid stent technology. We have here at Columbia some of the national and international uh, names in carotid stenting. We've published uh, multiple papers in carotid stenting. We were some of the leading investigators in the trials, national principal investigators. In fact, we were the national principal investigator for the trial that led to approval of the first carotid stent system in this country. We have interventional cardiologists working with vascular surgeons, working with interventional neuroradiologists, working with neurologists, as well as a quality control team that makes sure that we're actually giving the best possible care for patients. Those interested in remaining informed of the latest developments in carotid stenting should view this webcast, which will show a challenging case and discuss future directions with innovators in the field. OR Live makes it easy for you to learn more. Just click on the Request Information button on your webcast screen and open the door to informed medical care. Please join us on July 15th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time to see the expert discussion on carotid artery stenting live from New York Presbyterian Hospital. Music